I want to thank everybody that prayed for Chris's mom. I want to read his comment to me. This is so beautiful. He says, thank you so much. Well, Chris, Chris could be a girl. I didn't think of that. Thank you so much for your prayers. My mom went home to Gory. She asked in perfect peace the Lord to come home after seeing the glory. The Lord gave me Queen Esther's request to read to her last Friday. Esther 7, 2 and 3. The scripture to come into the presence of the king and for her and the people of God. I had a dream also last night of my father that went home nine years ago. He was calling out to my mom, asking her to come quickly and to help him. She was resting in a rocking chair, and I helped her up, and she went to help him. And I was about to open a door with a very bright light shining from underneath to help my dad and then I asked can I help you mom she said no I'll go then I suddenly awoke from the dream and instantly received a text from the hospital telling us they are letting her go now also ask the Lord for a sign of better how to pray. And when I went to my window, bedroom window, I looked out and a lone female deer was sleeping facing my window and the deer awoke as I opened my shades and then slowly rose up, looked around in peace, and quietly walked off to a big red barn about a quarter mile away until I could see her no more. God is faithful if we ask. She was as sharp as a tack till the day she passed living on her own, 95 years young. She was born 1224-1924, praying daily as a quiet warrior for all here and our nation. She is now home. Thank you for your prayers, Sister Jeannie, and everyone. You are 100% correct. I included and everyone. Sometimes we need to know the will of the Lord first over ours. His will be done. Amen. That was beautiful. Thank you for sharing that with us, Chris. I wanted to let all of you who prayed know she is now in the presence of the Lord. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.